Okay, that's the end of the test. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to tell you how it passed. Hello and welcome to Five Drive School of Motoring. This is Mohammed. I hope you guys are doing really well. Okay, this video is slightly different. I have put a lot of test routes on YouTube before and uh, got very good like feedback from you. Thank you for that. Uh, this video is about mock test. So I've carried out a mock test. This is first ever mock test I'm gonna put on YouTube but I will really be waiting for your comments um, so I can really improve on it. Wasim has contacted us through YouTube. His test is coming up very soon. So he carried out a mock test with us. Uh, in the end, I gave him feedback, the areas improvement, uh, which you guys will see in the video. I do apologize, I couldn't really capture the first like one minute or so of the of the mock test but trust me you've not missed a lot so this mock test was carried out in Thornbury test center and I've tried to carry out a full test route with Wazim and um, yeah so I'll let you watch it then right there we go so from the roundabout he took third exit and at the traffic lights he turned left we started the mock test with satnav, so he's following satnav at the minute. So while following Satnav, he'll be taking left and then next to the traffic lights. So he did check mirrors and signal as you can see. But time ago the signal was slightly late, so it was about four-ish cars length. So it should have been between six to eight cars length. So it didn't really sort of obstruct anyone, so you can't really call it a mistake. But on a new road, you should have checked at least center mirror and right mirror to see what's happening behind. So he's just entered into 20 miles an hour zone, which I don't think he realized. So on this road, he kept going about 22-ish miles an hour. You will see a digital sign uh, detector. As you can see, it's blinking, so it's saying 22 miles an hour. So again, it's just slightly over the speed limit, so I'm not going to call it a serious mistake just yet. So um, he gets a minor there for over speeding. And then I asked him to pull up on the left somewhere safe. Turn left. And 
and then I asked him again to move off. Remember he was still following Satnav, so Satnav said, take the next road on the left. And before he moves off, he does a very good all-round observation, including the right blind spot. Again, on the new road, he should have checked center mirror and right mirror for overtaking cars. Anyways, this is the road where he was going really fast so he went about 27 28 miles an hour so this is where he picked up his first serious mistake Again, he dealt with this junction very nicely, good mirror check, good timing of the signal, also very good observation at the junction. Um, when he overtakes this parked car, the one on the left, this white car, but when he comes back in his lane, didn't check any mirror at all. So this is another minor mistake for not checking mirrors. There was a bus coming on the left, uh, they signalled to move off, so he did a really good observation, he let the bus go, and after that he pulled out very safely, so that's definitely a good point, but as soon as he turns, the speed limit changes to 30 miles an hour. Again, Wasim had to turn left at the traffic light, so he anticipates that red car pulls out of the junction and he had absolutely no space to continue. So he stops before this junction on the left and keeps it clear, which is very good. So when he moves off, he checks centre mirror and left mirror, which is really, really good. But he should have checked his mirrors again after the junction but he checked them so I can't really say it was a minor mistake but when he takes this left turn he goes slightly in the other lane so this was a minor mistake for lane discipline so he should have turned a little bit tighter and he should have stayed in the left lane coming up to a parked bus he checks his mirror very nice and early but when he comes back after overtaking the bus there is absolutely no mirror check so that's another minor mistake for use of mirrors Again, very good MSPSL routine on that junction, early gear selection, he gets the gap and he um, goes and takes the turn. And here he starts to get a little bit close to that horse. 
so he should have kept his distance a little bit more um, and when it's safe he should have overtaken but obviously the opportunity wasn't there to overtake but he started to get a little bit closer so he's getting a little bit uncomfortable so he gets a minor mistake for following distance and then I asked him to pull up on the left just before the red car in front and I asked him to leave enough distance to move off so that was move off at an angle And again, it does very good all-round observation before moving off. At the end, it'll be turning left and the sat-nav does say turn right straight away so make sure when you're pulling out uh, you pull out safely because you have, may have to stop again for the oncoming traffic for the right turn so again it does very good observation uh, there is a queue on the left hand side anyway so when it's safe he's gonna pull out it's a good observation As you can see, he's going to take this right turn. Yeah, so he does something really good here. On a new road, Laurie has just about managed to take a turn. So if he took a turn and stopped behind the lorry, that would be a serious mistake for obstructing this oncoming traffic. So again, he does really well to stay in this road. And he waits for the gap and he takes his turn. The motorbike comes, he looks at that as well. So really good all-round observation there and then he gets the opportunity to, to overtake this horse so very good mirror check leaving plenty of gap could have been slightly slower but again good mirrors to come back as well at the end he'll be turning a left but when he signals to take this left turn at the temporary traffic light it doesn't check any mirrors at all maybe it was a quick glance in the left door mirror it wasn't a proper mirror check so he picks up another minor mistake for not checking the mirrors before changing the direction
again there was no proper mirror check before signaling to take third exit on this roundabout so he picks up another minor mistake for use of mirrors before changing direction please remember if you're turning left of this roundabout or right the speed limit will be 40 but going straight at second exit it will be 30. However, he checks center and left mirror quite nicely before taking the exit and positioning was pretty good on the exit as well and he ends up in the left lane, which is good. Now Satnav is directing the learner to go all the way in the right lane so he does really well to check his mirrors. It's quite a busy road uh, and it was quite busy at that time as well. So he takes his time, he checks his mirror, he doesn't rush and he goes all the way in the right lane to take this right turn um, guided by Satnav.
So soon after this right turn, the speed limit will change to 30 miles an hour, as you can see that sign in front of you. After 300 yards, go list on the roundabout. Right, we see him coming up to the roundabout. This is where he's going to be taking first exit, as indicated by Satnav. This is where he makes um, another serious mistake. So what he does is, he checks his mirrors, his signals, everything is fine. But then what happens? He enters the roundabout with absolutely no observation. As you can see in the video. So he just enters, he sees there's traffic on the right, but there is a bit of gap, so traffic can still come from the right hand side. So he does absolutely no observation at all. And he picks up a serious mistake there, and he, he realizes it straight away. And he starts to smile, which means obviously it's not a happy smile, it's just a annoying smile. And he understands it straight away that it's a serious mistake. There's a car sticking out from the left. So again, he makes the right decision to give them way because there was not enough space to go around it really. And there is oncoming traffic as well. And then I ask him to pull up on the left somewhere safe. He decides to signal before the junction and pulls up after the junction. 
so because he did not confuse anyone there was no traffic behind so he, he gets away with that but if he confused anyone that would be a serious mistake because the timing of the signal was too early so this is where independent driving ended uh, and I gave him directions as normal and I asked him to move off again when it's safe to do so And at the traffic lights, I asked him to turn left. And at the next set of traffic lights, it'll be turning right. Here you might have noticed that he signaled first and then checked his mirror, which means um, it's a minor mistake for use of mirrors signaling. So yeah, he picks up another minor mistake there. And soon after the zebra crossing, it'll be turning right. And the speed limit on the new road is 20 miles an hour. As you can see the sign in front of you.
at the end of the road it'll be turning right and the speed limit will change again to 30 miles an hour on the main road this road can be quite busy so you have to take your time only pull out when it's safe And then I asked him to take the next road on the right into the B&Q car park. And this is where I asked him to carry out a bay park exercise. And the speed limit in this car park is 10 miles an hour. So you have to take it nice and easy. And then I asked him to pull up on the right or left in any other base of his choice. So he decides to pull up on the right, which is generally more easier than pulling up on the left. But yeah, he does it nicely. Now I would like you to reverse to the left mm -hmm. and drive out of the car park in front of you. And then he asked him to reverse out of the bay and take the exit of this car park, so pretty much the way he came in. So we had to go back that way. So he does really good and observe nicely. But as he stops here, um, after that he goes into the first gear, but absolutely no observation at all. So at this point you have to check 360 again. So for observation, he picks up a serious mistake there. And then I asked him to turn left at the end of the road. And the speed limit on the new road is 30 miles an hour again. After the zebra crossing, there is giveaway. Sometimes learner come in a bit fast, they miss it. So he does good observation. He approaches a bit fast, but he does observe. And then I asked him to move all the way in the right lane. And then at the traffic lights, I asked him to turn right. So he had to go in the most right lane. And once through the traffic light, I asked him to move all the way in the left lane. So he decides to signal left, which was not really required. And it doesn't check mirrors as well. So he signals, but it doesn't cancel. And there was traffic behind. So he goes past that junction with the left signal on. So he picks up a serious mistake there for giving the signal. Um, timing was wrong so he should have not signaled at all to be honest but if he does he, he, he needed to cancel it straight away before he goes past that junction and then I asked him to turn left of the trap lights and at the roundabout turn right a third exit and just before the roundabout speed limit changes back to 10 miles an hour
and then I asked him to pull up on the left so Merce for this first turn on the right goes to Agres and the second right turn goes into the test centre so it was during the daytime so I didn't want to go in the test centre so we ended the test just outside the test centre at the end of the mock test I gave him debrief um, there was no external mic so I just used the mic of the dash cam so I hope you will be able to understand what sort of feedback I gave him if you don't please let me know I can record a short clip on it and I can explain it again but uh, I'll leave you to it to listen to what I said to him okay that's the end of the test mm -hmm. I'm sorry to come in and pass not only that okay. can you tell me that I've made a mistake from in the roundabout right which roundabout the bottom absolutely right. yeah. what happened there I didn't check I didn't observe at uh, all at all no. absolutely no observation yeah um, anything else that's one serious mistake yeah and uh, second uh, I made some a few of them four four five minor mistakes So overall, you think you've got like four or five minor mistakes? Yeah. Okay. It's a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more than that. So any other serious or dangerous mistake can you think of? No? No. no. Okay. So one, obviously, you know, you've got five serious mistakes. Five serious mistakes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. One you know roundabout and second entire cell area i can't remember the name of the road we were following sat mile it was a turning zone and we kept driving up 25 26 miles an hour it was a turning zone it was a turning zone yeah so that was for over speeding okay um third one was signal as we were coming back to the test center mm -hmm. um, you took the exit of that roundabout and yeah. you just didn't cancel the signal and there was a car behind us and then you left the signal on, there was a road on the left hand side, so you could easily think of turning into that road. But we were going to turn left at the traffic light, the signal was on well before that. It should have been cancelled and you should have followed on the thing, just because you gave the wrong information to the other users. Um, another reason is Bay Park, mm -hmm. reverse Bay Park. It was very good. You were going to correct it, but it was fine anyway, so I told you to just leave it. Mm -hmm. But when you actually reversed out of the bay, and it was time to go, you didn't observe at all. Yeah. You're in the car park. In the car. You're in the car park. You did observe when you were reversing, mm -hmm. but after finishing reversing, you had to move off. Mm -hmm. But when you're about to move off, you need to have 360 oh. check again. Mm -hmm. So that is one serious mistake. But more than anything else, these are four. The fifth one is use of mirrors. I think you are missing your mirrors on multiple locations. Oh. So it's not happening once or twice. It, this has happened a lot of times. Probably when you will be able to see that video at some stage. I'm not sure if you will be able to do it before your test, if it's ready to be put on YouTube. Yeah. But you, you will notice that you have most your mirrors on multiple locations. Sometimes you're checking center mirror only. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're checking right mirror only. Sometimes you're checking your mirror, mm -hmm. but that's after your signal. So there's no point of checking mirrors once you've already signaled, you've already confirmed your intention, so there is no point. So five serious mistakes, that's a bit too much, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit too many. I expected uh, the test to be a bit better than this. So you already noticed four serious mistakes. The fifth serious mistake is for not checking mirrors on multiple occasions. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. 
and if you have please let us know if you didn't please still let us know so we can improve it so thank you for watching this video